Hi guys, we're back with the next cool experiment. We're the three kids in our big, big adventures. adventures. Just in case you forgot our names, I'm Ariana. I'm TJ. I'm Matthew. Today we're doing another project on penguins. If you have interest in penguins, make sure to watch our previous video about blubber. Did you know that penguins can stay in the water for about five months? Ha have you wondered how they keep dry and warm? Besides having a thick layer of skin called blubber, they also have a lot of feathers that cover their entire body. These feathers have an oil-producing gland that makes their feathers waxy. This wax on their feathers repels water and keeps their body dry. For this experiment, you will need a paper of a penguin crayon, food crayon, and a spray can full of cold water. To save time, we already have a colored penguin. TJ, can you please bring the colored penguin? Of course. Make sure even the white spots of the penguin are colored in with the white crayon. Make sure you only use crayons. Colored pencils will not work. Now you're going to take your bottle and you're going to take off the cap. Matthew, can you please put in the food coloring? Since I'm five years old, can I do five drops? Sure. Now we're going to cap the spray bottle and we're going to spray it on our penguin. Now I'm going to spray the penguin and we'll see what happens. Cool! Wax makes the penguin waterproof and they stay dry and warm. Well, we hope you make one of these penguins at home. They're super fun. Bye!